Well, good Thursday morning. Mary Alice, yesterday you talked about how that many of us are reading through the book of Genesis. Mm -hmm. And Genesis, of course, holds a whole lot of history, at least 2,000 years. And so when we come to the book of Genesis, God is introducing himself more and more. Mm -hmm. And I think there's a, uh, there's a strategic aspect to this because really for, the, for us through the years, we are looking at the Bible as yes. a whole and it makes sense that God at the beginning of the Bible would want to introduce himself in so many ways so that we would know as we read the rest of the Bible who God is and why he does what he does but this story is one of the most famous in the Bible and it really does point I believe to the cross it's a it's a it's a mm -hmm. promise of a future fulfillment that God will fulfill for us uh, and for the whole world on a mountain called Calvary um, so, Mary Alice, uh, would you take just a few moments to talk to us about the name Jehovah Jireh and the story that's attached to it? Yes, yeah, so well, it kind of goes forward from yesterday we're in Genesis 16. So this is Genesis 22. And again, we get introduced to Abraham in Genesis 12. So this is all part of his story. But um, after, um, after it looked like it was hopeless for quite some time for Abraham and Sarah to have a child, then God did give him a son, Isaac the son of promise and uh, w it was clear to Abraham and Sarah that this was a miraculous birth and that this was uh, the one through whom God was going to uh, answer uh, and complete his promise and so it was it was quite uh, shocking when God told Abraham I want you to take your only son Isaac and sacrifice him uh, which I want to be quick to point out God has never asked for human sacrifice no, nor was he really asking for it there right it was, God was going to teach Abraham something here. And I think also God wanted to paint a picture of what he was going to yes, do. Yes, absolutely. And we, of course, we can't get into Abraham's mind and heart here, but we do know that he gave an answer that speaks to what we're talking about Well, today. we do read in the New Testament that Abraham believed that even if Abraham, Isaac was sacrificed, that God would raise him from the dead because he knew that God had made a promise that, you know, it was through Isaac that all all the world would be blessed. And he told his servant, you know, my son and I are going to go up the mountain, but my son and I are going to come back. That's so. right. If you look at that language. And, and, you know, yesterday it was a weak moment for Abraham yes. that we looked at. This is a very strong moment. You can see his faith growing. Yes. And so he had faith that God was going to complete his promise. But in his faith, he was also obedient. Mm -hmm. And that's what we see here. But um, so if you go to Genesis 22, and we're going to jump in just to give you where this particular name is brought up in verse 8. And this is, um, this is an exchange between Abraham and his son Isaac, who is part of this equation. He's going up the mountain with his father. And he's like, I don't see where's the sheep. And so um, Abraham responds to Isaac and says, God will provide a sheep for the burnt offering, my son, Abraham answered. And they both walked on together. So um, God will provide Jehovah Jireh. Yeah. Well, and indeed God did because yes. he fastened Isaac to the altar and you know, was about to do whatever it was that he was going to do. And then God stopped him in the middle of this and said, Abraham, stay your hand. There is a ram caught in a thicket. And so I think in the fastest physical action of all time, <laughs> Abraham untied Isaac <laughs> and then it got, the, uh, got the, the lamb that was caught in the thicket and sacrificed it in Isaac's place. And, and we really do believe that this is a picture yes. of Calvary because then there would not be Right. A, a substitute. Jesus was the lamb and God did give his son, his only son, his son of promise, yes. uh, Jesus. And, and it is interesting. I, I know that I grew up memorizing in a different translation where it says God will provide himself, himself a lamb. A lamb. Yes. And, and so through the years, scholars have looked at that and said, was God saying, it was Abraham saying, God will provide of himself a lamb, which mm -hmm. he did in Jesus. Uh, so we do know that out of that comes the name Jehovah Jireh, which means God will provide. And for all of God's people through the centuries since that moment, I think there's been a great refuge in that name for God, because whatever it is that we need, mm -hmm. God has the power to provide. And ultimately, God provided to us forgiveness for sins through His Son, Jesus. That's right. So the ultimate provision, eternal life through His Son. And that's wonderful. I know one of the verses that my dad taught me when I was very, very small. I think one of the very first verses that dad taught me was Philippians 4.19. And that verse says, But my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches 
in Christ Jesus. And you know, dad would tell me when I was small, son, you're gonna have situations in your life when you don't know how you're going to have what you need to have, but Jehovah Jireh, God will provide. Yes, I love that. And you know, being at this point in our life, looking back, and especially in the early years when we were in our 20s and even 30s, when uh, I stayed awake a lot of nights wondering how we were going to make ends meet and how we we're going to have what we needed. If I could go back and talk to that younger version of myself, <laughs> I would be quoting that verse. Yeah. God's going to provide, and He always did, He always has, and He always will. I think this is something that anyone who has been a believer for a long time knows, and, and maybe even those who have been a believer for not so long. But I think we can look back and say there were circumstances and situations that I didn't know how I was going to make mm -hmm. it, but God supplied, He provided, He got me from he got me from Monday to Tuesday, you know, yes. he got me from one point, you know, to the next point. And I look back on our church, look at New Spring. Uh, it's a miraculous story, as you well know. Mm -hmm. I mean, there have been so many times when I had no idea how we were going to make it. And then God has supplied. I mean, you mentioned Jehovah Jireh before while the cameras were still off. And I couldn't help but think about the land that our church mm -hmm. is on. Mm -hmm. And you were there. Yes. You lived it with me. Uh, for so long, we just, it was impossible, it was impossible, it was impossible, and boom, miracle. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah. which goes back to God's timing, it's God's always time. perfect. But it's we can perfect. testify that Jehovah yes. Jireh is true, and, and I, I pray that this will become one of your favorite names for God. Yes, I love it, and I'm going to try to remember to post a link to a song below that we love. Well, if we don't post it today, we definitely should post tomorrow. it tomorrow. Yes, more than Because yes. tomorrow is a, a name that's very similar to Jehovah Jireh. God will provide, but it's it's a very special name. So it, it stay with us uh, this week and come back tomorrow because tomorrow's one of my favorite all-time names. And, and this has been an interesting Noah's window sequence because in in worship last week in our, at New Spring, it was like God put a new series on my heart and I've been preaching it to you. Yes, I, I love the previews. <laughs> on the names of God. And uh, maybe we'll unpack that in in, um, in days to come. Mm. But until then, Mary Alice, would you pray for us? Yes, let's pray. Oh, Father, we're so thankful that you are able to provide all of our needs. And I know that those who are watching or listening, all of us have needs even for today. And we just want to confidently come to you as our supplier, as our, our uh the one who provides for us whatever we need. And we're gonna trust you, Father, to meet our needs today. I pray that you would bring comfort and confidence to those who are wondering even today how their needs will be supplied. And I just pray that you would give them the faith to rely on you and to look to you. I just pray that you put a special blessing on each and every one watching and listening, that you draw them close into your presence. May they know your presence and feel your love around them. And we'll be careful to give you the glory and the honor and the praise. And we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you for joining us today on Noah's Window. We're going to invite you back tomorrow for the last day of this week where we talk about the names of God. And uh, I know it's going to be a special day. So we're looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Yes, we love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. God bless.